Considering the Sonos move, here's everything you need to know in under five minutes. Hi everyone, it's Emily from Smart Home Sounds here and I'm back again with another lowdown video for you. So these are designed to give you everything you need to know about these products in under five minutes. This time we've got the Sonos Move portable speaker and as always I'll make sure I link the Move below if you do want to check it out. If you want more information on the Move, we have done a more in-depth review as well as a more recent update one year after its release, so I'll make sure I link both of those videos below for you as well. And don't forget, we do offer a 30-day hassle-free returns policy with all Sonos products and an extended six-year warranty so you know you're covered for longer. Okay, so let's get into it. The Sonos Move is Sonos' only portable speaker which offers both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity and it's got an RRP of £399. Now the great thing about having both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi means that you can enjoy the benefits of both. So you can connect to your Sonos Wi-Fi ecosystem at home and then switch to Bluetooth when you're out in the garden or you're away from home. Now you've got the choice of using the Move's rechargeable battery which lasts for about 11 hours before it needs to be recharged and that can be done using the charging base that it's supplied with. Or you could choose to keep it docked in the charging base at all times which will hook it up to the mains power and you don't have to worry about charging it. But from zero battery it takes roughly one and a half hours to recharge to full which is actually quite impressive for a speaker of this size. Or you can charge the Move using your own USB-C charger if you don't want to take the charging base away with you, um, but you have to make sure it outputs a minimum of 18 volts. But this is particularly useful if you've um, taken the Move out with you and you want to con uh, connect to a power bank to make sure it doesn't lose any battery. When you first look at the speaker, you will notice it's larger than other portable speakers in the market, and this is entirely intentional from Sonos. It's been designed in a way that it can be moved around from room to room in your house or taken outdoors using the carry handle, but it still will sound more powerful than many other portable speakers on market. It's not really a lightweight speaker for carrying with you or for tucking in a backpack, it's more for moving around your home or for taking outside or you could take it away for the odd weekend away. So it's got touch um, controls on the top panel, a mesh grille and a rubber base and it's available in two colours, black or this lunar white. The Move offers a durable design with an IP56 weatherproof rating, meaning it can deal with snow, rain, dust, extreme heat or cold and UV rays. And the rubber base is non-slip and it's got a drop resistant exterior so it could handle a few knocks or bumps if you did happen to drop it. Internally it boasts two Class D digital amplifiers, one midwoofer and one downward firing tweeter and all together that offers a really balanced smooth sound and pretty decent bass um, and it sounds really good when it's in large open spaces. So how do you listen to music on the move? Well obviously you've got Bluetooth and I'm pretty sure you're all familiar with how that works but when you're at home and you're connected via Wi-Fi you can then stream using the Sonos app, Spotify Connect and it also supports Apple Airplay too so if you've got an Apple device such as an iPad, an iPhone or a Mac you can simply cast any audio straight to the move. It's also got both Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant built in so if you do want to go completely hands-free you could use either of those voice assistants which is quite a nice plus to have in a portable speaker. One of our favourite features of the Sonos Move is actually automatic TruePlay. Now TruePlay is a Sonos um, technology which enhances the speaker for the space that it's in but unlike other Sonos products where you need to walk around the room using your Apple device the Move actually automatically does its own little TruePlay process when it senses that you've moved it to a new location and it's been there for more than 15 seconds. So this means that everybody can benefit from TruePlay tuning on the speaker rather than just people who have an Apple device. Now we did test this in our in-depth review and you can really hear the difference so I would recommend checking that out. There are a couple of really nice accessories available for the Sonos Move 2. Um, so you could opt for a wall mount for £29 so you can mount it on the wall and you don't need to worry about where you're going to put it in your house. Or you can opt for a floor stand too which is available for £149.99. You can also choose to stereo pair and move with another move, but only when you're using it via Wi-Fi, but you can use it as a left and right speaker in that scenario, but they cannot be used as rear surround sounds for a Sonos soundbar, which I know a lot of people are a bit disappointed about. It can, however, be used with a turntable or using the Bluetooth connectivity, but again, it doesn't have a line in, so you couldn't connect it directly to a TV or a turntable. Let's wrap up then. So the strengths of the Sonos Move are that it uses both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, which is quite hard to find in a decent portable speaker. It's also got a good battery life for a speaker of this size. Auto TruePlay works really well, and the voice assistants are a nice plus. On the other hand, the weaknesses are that they cannot be used as rear surrounds to a Sonos soundbar. You also can't pair it with a Sonos sub, and it is quite pricey if you're just looking for a small portable speaker, but again, that's because Sonos have designed it to be more of a heavy duty option. Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, then please give me a like and consider subscribing if you'd like to see more from us, and we'll see you again on the next video.